Everybody, this is Buzz Miller of Wannabe Studios. Today's going to be a quick little thing. It's not a lesson. It's not a nothing. I am going to tell you a little bit about this thing that I have in my lap. Um, this is a flamed maple purple uh, fan fret headless guitar. I'm not going to be playing a headless guitar. I hate the way it sounds. I hate the way it feels. I hate the balance. I hate the fact that I can play it sitting down in one position. I start to do this and I'm, I'm just off. It's, it just doesn't work for me. Partly because I've been playing guitar for 30 years. If you like headless guitars, play them. If you don't like headless guitars, you don't need to make excuses. You don't need to make excuses for this guy or this girl, why they do what they do. Let's just, let's just drop all that ego crap and let's just be who we are. Find out who we are, first of all. And as you're finding out, just realize I'm my own person. I'm going to play the way I play. I'm going to sound the way I sound. We need to learn to grow our own mustache. Matthias Ia, the guy for Freak Kitchen, the crazy Swede, he says grow your own mustache. What does that mean? Be your own person, do your own sound, create your own technique. And your own technique starts with your equipment. It starts with the way you want to sound. You don't have to play this amp because they play it. If you want to play that amp because it sounds a certain way, then do it. Or a certain pedal, or a certain guitar, or a certain combination. Don't let anybody tell you, oh, you got to do this, or you got to... Find the sound you like and stick with it. And if you find a better product, go to it. You don't have to stay true to something old if something new is better. If you like a certain feel of a guitar, and you like that brand, or you like that style, or you like that neck profile, or you like the finish on the back of a neck, or you like a certain set of pickups, great. These are the Tosin Abasi pickups. I will say there are wonderful things about them that I'm hearing, but I can't hear the full spectrum of what these pickups can do because they're not in a guitar I'm familiar with. They're not in a style I'm familiar with. I don't like the sound of this guitar. It's way too light, way too tinny, and it doesn't work for my ears, and it doesn't work for my setup, probably as you heard in the little opening riff. But I'm thinking about maybe snagging a set of these and putting them in a real guitar because some of the things that these do with their different voices and splitting coils and all sorts of stuff, I'm hearing some things that I think I might like if I can control them. Let's talk about fan frets for a second. Fan frets, and everybody's going, oh, I'm so used to my frets this way, I'll never be able to get used to it. Your left hand will figure it out in no time. It almost takes no time to adjust from straight up frets to fan frets on a guitar like this. You think it's going to take forever, it's not. Your left hand almost doesn't know the difference. Your right hand, well, my right hand, here's why. I put the meat of my right hand and that does all of my um, overtone killings and my mutes and that type of thing. And it does a lot of the voicing of my sounds with that. I'm noticing that all my high strings are ringing way too much and all my low strings are way too muted. So my mind is kind of kicking my hand this way to give it what I want out of my ear and then my picking angle is wrong and it's making me mess things up on my picking angle. So that's, it would take a little bit of getting used to. I don't think I'm going to be going to fan fret guitars anytime soon, partly because they tend to go more towards the seven string, eight string stuff and that's not really my bag. Um, but also, if I played this for three days solid, you know, my mind is adjusting my hand angle and then I go back to something how quick is my mind going to then back adjust to something I'm familiar with? So rather than a dartboard that moves, I'm just going to kind of stick to straight guitars for right now. Um, but again, let's talk race cars for a second. You can buy a $1,500 race car helmet that is not going to protect your head. And you can buy a $100 race car helmet that's going to protect your head way better than that $1,500. Why? The fit against your skull. $1,500 doesn't mean it's better. It might be better in quality or it might be lighter or this. If it doesn't fit your head, it's not going to save you in a crash. Get something that fits your head. Why do we play a certain guitar? I'm 6'5", 270. I play a certain guitar because I'm a certain size. 
I don't mind a guitar that weighs 12 pounds. I like heavy guitars. I can carry them around all day, it's no big deal for me, and I like the extra sustain of having some meat in the back of the guitar and having a big headstock. I actually drill the headstock and put tungsten rods in there because I want a little more sustain. It's easier to bleed sustain off through your electronics than it is to increase sustain that's not there. So that's my style. But don't do what Nita does because I gotta be Nita. And don't do what Timmons does because I gotta be Timmons. All of these people, they had influences and they play a little bit of that influence, a little bit of that influence, a little bit of that influence to be them. Let's not chase them. We don't need a Dream Theater uh, tribute band to come into town. I'm not going to buy tickets for that. Why? Because Dream Theater created Dream Theater. Let them do it and let's be something else and let's go off and take some of the ideas and the progressions and that type of thing and make our own band that does something else. If you do something else and you do it well, I'll pay to go see that band, but I'm not going to pay to see a Dream Theater tribute band, sorry. This isn't my guitar, which is nice. I just finished it for somebody, and they're coming to pick it up here in a couple of hours, so I figured I would make this um, video before it left. And uh, that's pretty much it. Grow your own mustache. Go be your own person. Learn from everybody else, but don't buy their guitar because you have to have their guitar. Get what's comfortable to you. Get the quality that sounds good, get the quality that's going to last 20 and 30 years, and be happy with that. And you can always search for a little better or a little different tone, but you can't just go, okay, Nita plays this guitar, she plays this cable, she plays this pick. You're not Nita. Get your own pick that fits your own hand. Get your own guitar that fits you. Get the back of the neck the way it fits you. Get the frets the way they fit you. Find the strings that fit you that you like and the tone that works for your ear and go forward with it. We don't need another Eddie Van Halen uh, wannabe that plays exactly like Eddie and everything that Eddie did. Let's take the ideas of Eddie and let's make something different because that's what we're looking for right now in music. Something that's unique, something that's different, and something that we can stand behind. So, this is Buzz Miller. Wannabe Studios saying, hey, keep on rocking, but do it your own way.